Hello there, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Here, we'll utilize the tips, tricks, and techniques that I've learned throughout the years. Let's see if we can get you to learn to draw a Minnie Mouse like a pro. Come on, let's get started. So now we've already covered how to draw Mickey Mouse. So I'm gonna put that up right there. Now Minnie's head construction is exactly like Mickey Mouse until we go into the face. So we're gonna break it all down right now. So what we do, of course, is start with that initial circle. And draw it nice and big here, using my shoulder and not my wrist to draw that circle. And then we're gonna give that vertical access line down the center and the horizontal access we're going to bring it down a little bit from Mickey's. Mickey's is exactly in the center. Minnie's is down a little bit very slightly and now we're going to figure out those 45 degree angles so we can put in those ovals. Now Minnie Mouse's ovals Are about that size there. Let me start there and let's just make sure we have our initial shape here before we go in any deeper. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so now that we have the head shape down, this is where we have to pay attention to the subtle differences between Mickey and Minnie. We're going to start with Minnie Mouse's snout. Now her snout is smaller than Mickey's and you need to make sure that you keep it smaller to push her feminine qualities in her face. The nose is also slightly smaller than Mickey's and it's gonna rest toward the top of the snout. Now her eyes, on the other hand, are larger and wider than Mickey's. It's to push those, it's to push those glances that she gives at him. So remember they're oval shapes, but they're going to peter off a little bit toward the top, okay? You'll notice I have more lines in this eye. That's okay. I'm just trying to get the basic shape of it down. I'll be erasing all of that later. Now, another difference between Mickey and Minnie is Minnie's smile rests a little lower in the head and the smile will be a lot smaller than Mickey's. So, what we do is we're gonna use the bottom area of that snout shape and we're going to utilize that for her mouth. And then we're going to give a slightly smaller looking smile to Minnie. Give that, that lower lip. And then I think we're ready for her cheeks. Now Minnie's cheeks, much like Mickey's, are gonna follow the shape of this smile line here. But it rests a lot lower on her head than Mickey's does. Okay. Same thing on this side. We're gonna push that out a little bit. And now that, I, hmm. Same thing with this side. We're going to follow this shape and give Minnie Mouse her other side of her cheek. All right. And you'll remember from drawing Mickey is that the hairline has to follow the shape of the face, right? So we're gonna follow the shape of the eye and we're gonna give in that hairline. Now with Minnie Mouse's hairline, 
we're going to make sure that we come out a little bit from the center of the head and we're going to follow the shape of that eye and remember this line here touches the edge of the circle before we come down a little bit for that center hair area here which we will never see because we're gonna put a big bow on top of this head anyway same thing with this side here we're going to follow the shape of the eye and touch the top of that part of the circle and come in a little bit and this is where I redefine the shape of her head if I need to come in from that circle that's why I draw nice and lightly nice and loosely I'm going to erase these lines later when I ink in the drawing okay so we've got all of these details in here I do see I want to come in a little bit smaller on her eyes sometimes you don't realize that you've got to come in a little bit smaller until all of the shapes are in right so it looks like this eye was pretty good to begin with then we give Minnie Mouse her three eyelashes the middle one is always the longest and then on this side we're gonna do the same that middle eyelash is the longest one of the three and now we're gonna draw in that big fluffy bow on the top of her head so we're gonna start right here in the center and we're going to put in kind of like an egg shape here just like that in the center and next I'm gonna put in very lightly a triangle shape makes all the sense in the world to start with this shape okay so we've got this shape in here now so now this is where I round out the bow I start with the bottom and I throw in that little hook shape I'm going to do the same thing on this side rounding out the bottom of that bow next I'll go to the top area and I'll round that out just like that do the same thing on this side like so and because it's a tied up bow we're gonna give a little swirly line just like this on either side to show that that fabric has been tied into that bow and then we can't forget to throw in a little crease line right there in the center okay so now we've got everything that we need except for those pupils so we're going to draw in these little ovals here and here and one little oval here for light reflection now let's ink this in And then we sign it.
All right, so there's Minnie Mouse. Thank you so much for drawing with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me the thumbs up if you did, and we'll see you around real soon. Bye now. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Also, you might want to check out some of my other videos right here. Hope you enjoyed cartooning with Paul, and until then, we'll see you later.